Hey Tiger Rock Nation, we're coming to you with this cycles blocking combination. As we go into a tactical cycle, we want to think about good practical self-defense moves. Thinking about our blocking system of one, two, three, four, and five block. A one block protects the front of the body, a two, the back of the body, a three, the face, a four, the side of the head, and a five, the front side of the head. We want to make it easy for our students to practice that with a partner. So we've created just a, a nice little five move hand combination that green bells can work in class. So again, we're here, a jab to the body, he executes a one block. A ridge hand to the body, a two block. A jab to the head, a ridge hand to the head, and a back fist to the head. Now some of those might not be moves that we want to really encourage them doing sparring such as a reach hand to the back of the body. But it's just a drill so our students can identify, oh this is coming to the front of my body, this is going to the back. Now we can do that, practice that combination on the back, so again, jab, ridge, jab, ridge, back fist. So the students can practice that to get the offensive part down, then they can do the blocking drill with their partner. Mr. Griffiths is going to talk about how we can amp that up for advanced students. Okay, once they have the uh, blocking drill down, once again, I want to give them uh, more variety uh, when they're attacking. So in a sparring stance, uh, a couple of things if I want to attack block one and two. Uh, so I'm here. I can go front kick, kick and block. I can also reach that leg back, boom, and round kick the back side of the body. A lot of times when we spar, he'll block, I'll throw a front kick, he spins me, and look how that'll turn me, boom, right into block number two. So you have a lot of creativity, but they need to learn all five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then of course at that point, uh, options are endless. Have fun with your training.